thy light in my last morning so i've had quite a few requests for this one so i thought it was about time i learned it so the tuning is c standard and i will put the tuning along here somewhere so we're going to start off with an a minor chord and then we're going to play tap harmonics 12 frets above so so how do you do that so if you come up to if you imagine an A minor chord here we're just going to tap above the 12 frets above here so on 14 of the D 14 of the G 13 of the B and 12 of the E and what I'm doing I am touching it with my thumb and my first my first finger is directly above the fret and my thumb is just behind and I'm pushing it off really badly there I'm kind of plucking it so you get that um, harmonic you can also tap it you get the harmonic it's easier with a pick so with a pick you can pick it and use your first finger just on the and it brings that a lot easier but, I've, but I think this is finger picked so we're not going to use a pick for this section okay so you've got the A minor With the pinched or tapped harmonics then we've got an F major 7 so that's three of the D two of the A one of the B and an open E and then we can do the same thing and then we just alternate between those two and the F major 7 and on the F, obviously, you're playing slightly different notes here. You're playing above the 15th of the D, 14 of the G, 13 of the B, and 12 of the high E. So that's the intro. Then we have this section. So we've got A minor and we're just playing the A with our thumb and then we're playing the high E string at the same time. Then we're going to take our first finger off, so it's still an A minor but we're playing the open B string. Then we're going to come back to this F major 7 chord. Then we're going to put our little finger down here on the G of the third fret of the high E string and then we're going to bar the first fret here and play the first fret of the first and the second string so that goes like this Let me have this section. So it's an A minor chord, we're just going to play the bottom A and then G B E string. I'm going to come up to it's basically a D minor but you don't have to play the whole chord because we're not going to play the D string but let's just play the whole chord for the sake of it here so I'm going to play again the D 
G, uh, sorry, the A, G, B, E string. Then we've got a C chord, but again, I'm not playing the D string. So I'm barring this third fret here, but I'm then playing the A string and then five on the G and the B. My guitar sounds a bit out of tune, but I'm not that worried about that right at the second. Okay, so then A, G, B, E. And then the B string, uh, B here on the second fret of the A, and then the open G, B, E. And that's that section there. So now we have got a pick, and we're strumming, and we've got an A minor. <laughs> what I'm doing here I'm playing an A minor and taking off the first finger so open B back to an A minor and then A minor take off the first finger so the B is open and then take off the third finger so the G is open and then we've got the F minor 7 again uh, sorry F major 7 putting the little finger down on the third fret here of the high E and then barring the first fret so you've got an F okay so that section there that strumming section then we go into the distorted section so we've got an A minor and we're going to take the first finger off so with the open B and then we're doing the same again so A minor open B A minor open B A minor open B open G then down to the F major 7 again and then we're going to add in this th third fret of the E string and then the high E section then we've got these chords again but they're slightly different this time so this time we're going to play a B major okay so A minor I'm going to pick the A G B E D minor and then we're going to pick the A G B E <laughs> Back to that C shape. And then just move that all back one fret. So earlier we were playing. But we're not got we haven't got those open strings yet anymore. We're now playing two of the A, four of the G, four of the B, two of the high E. Then we're back into this section. Then we have this riff. So we're tremolo picking here on the A and the D string and we're playing an A power chord 
Then we're coming up to the third, still playing the open A, third fret of the D, fifth fret of the D, then a power chord on the seventh fret of the A, and then we're going to put the little finger down on ten of the D, and then back down to nine. So again. And then we've got this. So that's just an open A and seven of the D. Nine of the D. Keep playing the open A, 10 of the D, open A, then 8 of the A, 7 of the D, 5th fret power chord on the A, and then just 5 of the A and the D. Then we have the solo. So when trying to teach a long solo, saying play this fret here, this fret here, it starts confusing the hell out of me because you lose all flow. So what I'm gonna do is just play it through really slowly. If you wanna see the actual guitar player of Thy Light play this, I'll put a link in the description and you can go and watch because it's pretty awesome. And this is where I picked up how to play it. So anyway, I'll take you through the solo now, but what I'm gonna do is just play it through really slowly so you can see what my fingers are doing and then you can learn it from, from there. I hope you're enjoying this video. If you are, make sure you check out my black metal guitar course. I'll put a link in the description below. <laughs>
this part, you would hit that open G and then dive bomb with the whammy, but this guitar hasn't got a whammy, so. And then as you dive bomb, you hit the um, harmonic here, which is just over the, just higher than the third fret of the G. And then, and then you would pull the, the whammy down, uh, up, sorry. So hit the open G, dive with the whammy, hit the harmonic, and pull up with the whammy, but I haven't got a whammy. So again. Underneath the solo are two riffs. The first one is the one that we played just before the solo. And the other one goes like this. And then after the solo, we've got that same riff there. And that's how the guitar part ends. With that open A and the seven of the D. So that other riff there, I didn't actually explain it, did I? Okay, so open A, 10, nine seven of the d open a and then five up to seven of the d power chord on seven of the a string add the little finger down on ten here of the d and then back down to nine the end of the song.